We're here with one of the newest Cyclones to sign a contract here for the 2024-25 season forward. Patrick Bykov joins the Clones for this upcoming year. Patrick, great to see you, man. Welcome aboard. Congrats on the deal. Tell me, uh, tell me about the summer. What's uh, what have the past few months been like for you? Uh, yeah, it's been obviously super excited to get that deal done here uh, with Cincinnati. Uh, uh, it's been a couple months for my summer. Obviously, I was over overseas, so I get back a little earlier. Been just playing a lot of golf, getting to the gym, skating as much as I can. And uh, yeah, like I said, uh, since signing, it's been signing. It's been a lot of excitement on my end. How's the uh, how's the golf game? Uh, it's been getting better this summer. I uh, <laughs> took right. a few strides forward, so yeah, it's been good. Well, you uh, you mentioned going overseas past couple of seasons uh, have have led you, I would think, on some pretty interesting journeys in the hockey world. Uh, tell me a little bit about what led to your choice to to take those opportunities over the past couple of years, and you know what the overall experience is. I know that guys have. From what at least I've heard, pretty wavering take on <laughs> on how things can be over there, and of course with different setups. But but what was your experience like? Yeah, obviously, yeah. I've talk I've talked to guys too. I've had the up and downs overseas. Uh, I spent my first year over in Sweden, which was uh, for my first year it was pretty good. I got to meet obviously a lot of like you said, different kind of people, new people, make a lot of connections through that. And then last year I spent a little bit of time in Slovakia, and then. Most of my time in the UK, which was uh, uh, pretty cool. I had some family grow up in the UK, so I got to go visit some places uh, that I had family grow up in. So that was cool as well. Very and then cool. the hockey side, uh, uh, both years, really great leagues. Uh, I think uh, I just wanted to kind of come back and be part of a team where I can be more more part of it and go for a chance to win a title as I get a little older here. So I think uh, Cincinnati was a great choice to do that. I would think it's, at least it might've been kind of a brave move to go into a locker room where, I don't know, 90% of the the people might not be speaking the language that you've heard for, for most of your life. But also I, I think I would think pushing you just a, as a person in, in a lot of ways, was, was there anything that kind of surprised you about that environment or, or kind of being in yeah. a, a big melting pot of folks yeah i mean you every league's different where i was you get two two north american guys so yeah you go in and i'd say about half the guys speak english most of the time uh most of the places so some guys will talk to you some guys may be a little bit more shy uh standoffish and shy but yeah it'll be great to get back over in north america and play and come into a dressing room where you can chat with everyone and it's more of a i don't want to say friendly because it was quite friendly over there as well sure. but you know i mean have that relationship with every guy and get to come into the locker room every morning and chat with whoever and have a cup of coffee so yeah i think that definitely went into my uh decision of coming back and uh yeah like i said just super excited about that so cincinnati th this is a, a team that over this off season has, has made some pretty great moves obviously the the big news is is linking up with the maple leafs and if history is able to repeat itself with with how Toronto has treated their their affiliates and the Marlies and of course then Newfoundland, uh, there's a good chance we're going to be seeing some some pretty great prospects down here. How much did that build into your decision to come here to the Cyclones, knowing that you're probably going to get to play with some some pretty top end talent? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, when uh, I heard that from Jason, obviously it was just super exciting. Uh, I didn't actually really know that because obviously it's super recent, but getting yeah. to know that and getting to understand that there will be like you said if history does repeat itself um some young talent coming through and that'll be awesome to kind of see because <laughs> the young kids these days it's crazy with how uh how good they are so yeah like you said it should uh should be quite a positive for uh Cincinnati and us this year so yeah it will be a, a nice jump forward I'm sure for the team and uh like you said to get that young talent surrounded by the guys I've already seen that is signed uh it, it it's something special i think in the making here now before you went overseas you had some really great years in this league i, I think of a a season you had with the royals putting up 69 points and you know, you know it seems like you were very much hitting a stride um you know playing on a on a team like that tell me about what you can bring with your game for folks that might not have have, have seen your style before and and what you can bring especially from from an offensive standpoint 
Uh, yeah, uh, I would say definitely lean towards that offensive side uh, of my game. Uh, before heading overseas, yeah, I had that year in Reading. I was surrounded by, obviously, some good players, which I can already sure. see this year, which will be a, a thing with knowing uh, Lincoln before even signing here. We, uh, oh, we boy. Spent... Is, that a, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, definitely a good thing. Definitely <laughs> okay, a good, good thing, <laughs> as I'm sure everyone would assume. Uh, yeah. yeah, we spent a little bit of time together in Slovakia there so uh, obviously with uh his amazing talent and uh everyone else that i'm sure we would get throughout the the process yeah it's exciting and uh, the years before i spent in greenville and then mm-hmm. i spent here in florida uh obviously a bit younger but yeah I, i've spent uh my time in a couple of different places and honestly i've loved i've loved every second of being in this league so yeah like i said coming back wasn't a hard decision at all. I want to go back even further, if that's okay. I was looking at some of your time that you had in the in the dub with Everett. You know, it, it seems like you know some guys will, you know, bop around a little bit when it comes to juniors. It for just from a statistical standpoint, it seemed like you really found a home there with that club. What was what was that experience like for you, and how pivotal in kind of growing your game into before making the jump to the pros? Yeah, it was uh, definitely a super cool experience to be able to spend five years in the same city growing up uh, through junior hockey. Uh, they were an amazing organization through the start from moving there to 15 years old to leaving there at 20. Um, yeah, Those are pivotal but, uh, years. That's wild. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. The coaching there is, uh, through my five years was 10 out of 10 top class uh, from management. And then even the guys that we got in through the years, the – us three 20 year olds at the end all started at 15 and ended at 20 so all three of us stayed there for our whole time which was made it that much easier and that much more fun to create a connection with those guys and then even other guys you play with for three or four years uh everyone was really good about keeping their team together and i think that showed with how much success we did have wow that's really cool it's really cool now you talked a little bit about the the hockey side of, of choosing cincinnati and I don't blame you if you, you haven't heard a lot about the town, but it, what have you heard about uh, Southern Ohio? Obviously, we got we got the Bengals and the Reds yeah. in MLB right next door and uh, plenty of stuff to do. But maybe what have you heard or, or done your research on about about the town? Yeah, a lot a lot of it is going, hopefully go down there and can hang out with Joe Burrow or what all my friends say. Yeah. <laughs> big, you know, big, I, uh, football, big football group of friends here. So it's that and the Reds have been mostly what I've heard. Uh, like I said, I've talked to uh, Griff a bit, and he said nothing but great things. Obviously, I think it's his third year coming back. So, yeah, yeah. he said a lot of great things to do in the city, uh, the, the organization, everything, uh, top class. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited to get there and learn more, of course, and get to meet the fans to start and get to check out the city. So, yeah, like I said, coming up pretty quick here. So it's exciting. Yeah. I'm biased, I'll, I'll tell you, but, you know, you look around the the league and this isn't bashing any other towns, any other cities, but it's pretty cool to have a, a, an ECHL club really in a, in a big major city that's, you know, sharing, you know, neighbors with big pro sports teams and stuff like that. So um, Absolutely. I can, I can confirm it's a, it's a good time. Yeah. It's a good time. Thanks for uh, taking a few for us, Patrick. This has been great. Great to get to meet you. And yeah, like you said, a couple of weeks here, we'll, uh, We'll be seeing you out on the ice. So safe travels here to Cincy and best of luck here over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, thank you very much.